The school districts of MS-8046, SAD-4, and MS-8041, along with the Tri-County Technical Center, have come together to build a better future for Central Maine. Through an application from the Maine Department of Education, these school districts and the Career and Technical Education Center have been working on a new innovative design to restructure and reimagine the public school experience. As it turned out, the Department of Education actually put out, uh, for, for lack of a better term, a bid for schools to consolidate to form a, a region uh, for a comprehensive high school. Um, out of that, I believe there are eight regions across the state that applied, and the DOE selected three sites uh, across the state, two in Worcester County and our uh, particular part of the state, Central Maine. It's just a tremendous opportunity for the kids, our community. Um, you start to think about all the pieces that are going to be part of this when you think about a nine to 16 institution, um, and you've got community partners, uh, you've got businesses coming in, you, you've got higher education coming in, you've got the tech center piece, you've got the two high school or three high schools uh, coming together. So you, you just combine all those under one roof, um, one building, and the opportunities that are now available that, that just don't exist right now. Um, I just think that that's the first thing I think of is the opportunity, the expanded opportunities we're going to have for our kids in our community uh, as part of this project. This is probably the one thing I can see that can immediately change the economic future for our area. We will be, with this new higher ed facility, the pipeline from school to career that so many high schools are trying to do in piecemeal fashion. Now we have it all underneath one roof where students will have access to industry standards and industry training higher ed for associate's degree at least, and also state-of-the-art and cutting-edge high school education uh, centered on CTE programs. This is an exciting time for not only our school but for our region because with the possibility of opening up a 9 through 16 regional comprehensive high school, students have the best of both worlds. The community has a, uh, a place where they can rely on in terms of training and education and further education. And by and large, a system like this will create um, an atmosphere where business and other industry would have an opportunity to come in and look at the trained personnel. Traditionally, high schools, CTE centers, work sites, and colleges have been separated into different programs, buildings, and campuses. The challenge for this new and innovative high school structure would blend together traditional high school courses, career and technical education pathways, and opportunities to extend the learning into the community college or four-year college pathways, all on one site and seamlessly integrated together. A comprehensive high school has an integrated curriculum whereby both the academic faculty and the CTE faculty work in tandem to show, for example, how theory can be turned into practice and the outcome, of course, is a, a product uh, that the students create using national standards. The application process had three distinct phases to it, and we are currently in phase three, waiting to hear approval. We're hopeful on the 29th of December that we have a winning application, which would give us $100 million to start this project. We're hopeful, if that's the case, that in five years' time, we will be opening the first real comprehensive high school in the state of Maine. I was involved in the S8048, excuse me, RSU 19 high school, which is going to be costing 69 million. But this center, can you imagine what they're building versus what we'll be able to do in that area? Now, the state has never told us 100 million, but you stop and think about the vast complex that we're going to have here. It has to be in pretty close to that figure. It's a substantial size building. We, we know, you know, we got a fairly new middle school that was probably in the 30, 30 something million dollar size. This is combining two, again, possibly three high schools and a tech center, bringing in, an, and it's a nine to 16 facility. So um, in today's dollars, you're probably looking at, a, a, you know, a 70 to 100 you know, million dollar project. I'm not sure the exact price tag, but it, it's a substantial investment by the state of Maine. Um, and if we're fortunate enough that they're gonna invest here in our central Maine area for our kids and in our families, that, that's tremendous for us. Anytime you spend a hundred million dollars in a small area, it's got to be a plus for the local economy, for the state, and create jobs. We are modeling this new high school 
after some of the places we visited in Massachusetts, they have regional type high schools in Massachusetts um, that students actually have to apply to that have, that's very similar to what we're doing. Um, we intend to do something that's even better because we're taking all kids in this high school. There's no application process and we're going to um, really ignite students who may have not had any opportunities or any aspirations uh, with some really, really uh, cutting edge programming and, and instruction. I did have the opportunity last year, I actually visited two, two schools um, that were of this model. Um, and, and just the, the striking thing is, is just the attitude of the kids that, that gets you immediately. Um, how excited they are because it's, it's hands-on learning, it, it's not the traditional textbook lecture. Um, and that, that still has its place, so I don't want to speak downward about that type of teaching and learning, but it's different in that type of building and, and they were, you know, they could, you had community partners and business partners in there, uh, whether it was the shop that we got to visit, um, the, the local dealership was in there with their cars being serviced by those kids, and not just simple service, it was high-end paint jobs that these kids were doing. Um, and you go to the welding shops and some of the uh, meticulous things that they were doing was, was outstanding, what these high school age kids uh, that we saw. Part of this innovative process is to connect with partners in and throughout industry. We've been lucky, we have several industry partners that have already signed on in support of this project. And also due to the innovative and exciting nature of this project, we would anticipate bringing on more partners if approved. This creates a skilled workforce, a knowledgeable workforce for area business who are here or might want to come here. If you can imagine a senior that is gra graduating from this school, and the word senior is now a little bit different. It's a student that's gone through the program of studies, could be in two years, could be in four years, might be a little longer. But when they're done, they have the potential to have a journeyman's license in any one of our CTE programs that offers that. They would have credentials to possibly go directly into a college with possibly up to 30 credit hours and an associate's degree to build on. That's a huge savings. Or they know, because they're a little bit nervous about college, that they could come back a following year and begin the process of getting their associate's degree. That takes away all barriers for students finding work and finding their passion in life. And this is why this school is incredibly innovative. You can create a pipeline where uh, these students are coming out work ready. Uh, for various industries, whether, again, I'll keep using Chimbro, whether kids come out of a welding program ready to go to work for a Chimbro, which we, we don't do and can't do right now. We don't have that program. But certainly in this new school, we could have that. Over time, when you have a system like this, it will attract not only families to look at taking their children and putting them in a program like this, but you're also looking at uh, potential employers that start to gather students that graduate from here and put them to work in their particular uh, industries and businesses. Another wonderful aspect of this project is connecting the partners in and throughout higher education. We have connected with local education programs, the main university system, and the main community college system to be a part of this innovative school. And they have demonstrated an incredibly high level of enthusiasm and support for us with this project create a center that will be the hub of activity for training and education for not just our high school students, but for adults through our, having a higher ed piece to it. And it'll also be an incredible training area for our area industry and businesses because there is a partnership that we'll forge with the CTE programs with the area businesses. I'm excited about the fact that our kids are going to be able to stay here and get their associate's degree and possibly get their bachelor's degree and community members can come back in and, and get those same degrees without having to travel to Bangor or the University of Maine and places like that. They can get those things here at this school. So that excites me. Certainly one of the concerns that you'll hear from members of our community is location of this new school and losing the community aspect of our high school. Um, and that, there's certainly legitimate concerns there. However, we know that we can't offer to our students the kinds of programming that we would like because we're too small of a high school. 
for example, you know, I might right now currently can only offer four or five AP classes because of my current enrollment. Uh, combined enrollments of two or three high schools um, and also bringing the higher education piece where they're actually in the building, I can increase those AP offerings or dual enrollment offerings for our kids. So that's just one area um, that, that I know is going to increase opportunities. Now we're going to have more students in one location. We'll be able to offer academic courses that we've never been able to because of our small populations. Um, same thing with the Vogue Center. It's going to have a great opportunity to provide uh, courses they've never been able to in brand new facilities and brand new equipment. So it's, there is, uh, I don't see any downside to this. And I don't blame people for being passionate about losing those identities. It's, it's been a big part of their kids, their own personal lives, so, so I get that. I, I mean, I taught at Guilford for a lengthy period before I came to Dexter, and of course I grew up here. So, so I get the small town pride, um, but we're not the first to do this. We won't be the last to do this. Um, I, I think it's the right move. There will be a new identity, a new school, and, and families and kids will quickly grow attached to that. I, I think it's probably more problematic for the adults and probably for the kids that will be moving into this. Um, but it, it might be a small barrier, but I hopefully not a barrier that we can't overcome um, as we move forward. Over time, when you have a system like this, it will attract not only families to look at taking their children and putting them in a program like this, but you're also looking at uh, potential employers that start to gather students that graduate from here and put them to work in their particular uh, industries and businesses. And that, in fact, would create a community of um, entrepreneurism and also give the students an opportunity and the parents an opportunity to, to literally pick and choose where they would go to work. These types of things only come around once in a while. Um, and, and certainly these communities could use a boost like this. Uh, and like I said earlier, if, if the state is willing to invest in this central main area uh, for our future, uh, I, I think it's an opportunity we, we hopefully don't allow to pass. Um, because somebody else is going to be fortunate to get that project and get that building. And, and I would hate to think that we lost out on that opportunity. For more information on the Regional High School Project, visit our website, www.aos94.org, and follow the link for the Regional Comprehensive High School Project.